I just want to say, Jazz, that um, as far as the remorse, I have a great deal of remorse. As far as I want you to treat me different, I don't want that. I just want um, the chance to make right from all the bad things that I got. You know, I got a lot of things against me. I got a lot of people that look up to me. And I don't want the last place for them to see me in, is in jail. I guess it's, it's now time for me to, to render the sentence. I obviously find that, that the defendant is a, a talented individual. However, this court believes that jail time is always warranted when you have a boundary with some injury involved. Uh, the defendant will serve 15 days in the county jail. I think the judge was fair, you know. I, I still don't feel like I got the, um, the decision that I wanted, but he was as fair as he could be. Um, Really, to my homeboys, I mean, a fight is a fight, battery is battery. A two and a half minute problem just cost me, you know, 15 days in jail, and that was little. In the black community, especially, we have like broken families with no father, no big brothers, and so the, the music becomes the big brother, and or, or the music becomes the father, because you listen to all these niggas, so it'd be like Ice Cube. I grew up Ice Cube, Public Enemy, KRS One, LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane. All them niggas was my daddy, you know, because I ain't have none, and that's who I listen to to know how to have big nuts, you know what I'm saying? Them the niggas who I gauge my nuts by. So if Cube was saying he was knocking this, you know, knocking this nigga off, and 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 Kane was saying this and this is how you do a nigga, and and, and LL was saying beat niggas like this, you grow up being okay. That's fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. I got big nuts. <laughs> I'm knocking niggas off. I'm not taking shit from the police. Cube told me this the bitch is a bitch and I'm not fucking with these hoes. You, you grow up and you get the lessons that you would have got from your daddy, but you're getting it from niggas because they got it from their daddy and they spitting the game. So the game um, is the music. Believe in yourself and don't let nobody stop you from doing what you got to do. You got to have faith. If you, if you can't find faith in the world, find faith in God, find faith in yourself, but you got to have faith in myself. Um, telling people what I wanted to see, you know. I asked for favors, you know, like when I wrote that favor temptation, please help me my video, I'm starving. But um, the good part about it was that we got to do a lot of things that hadn't been done. No rapper ever was in a penitentiary, a maximum state penitentiary, while his record was number one for four weeks straight. We broke records. So now it's like about going to the next level. I was happy with me against the world. I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy, really, because people supported me. My people right. supported me. And they let people know that the, the, the struggle ain't over. And just because he's in jail, I don't mean we believe y'all. And um, they put faith in me. So now I'm going to lay it down harder. This album had me on some serious conversational pieces with God. Right. I was like, Psst. You know, I mean, what's going on? It's all for me. <laughs> yeah. Next time you want to do that, let me know right. that you're going to shoot me and send me to jail. Right. You ain't got to give me the lyrics. I mean, <laughs> I would have calmed down. You right. know, I mean, you know. But This all I'm deep. saying, man. This yeah, all I'm yeah, saying. Man. This might not be no role model type shit or nothing like that. But goddamn, yeah. ask yourself. Ask your mama. Ask your daddy. Ask your auntie. Ask your uncle. You smoked weed before, didn't you? You smoked crack before too, didn't you? I'm a role model though. Well, Pac never did nothing but smoke weed. That's it. He oh. never fucked with that old bullshit. So give me my motherfucking poppers and don't sweat me when I'm blunted like a motherfucker. I'm a role model. President Bill Clinton said. Because if you give me something, I'm a role. Then in hell. Yeah. Especially if it's any type of anything. Yeah. I in hell, but I don't smoke I'm weed. I'm a motherfucking role model. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Hey. That's like saying you I'm fucking, but you ain't busting nuts. I'm down with that role model shit though. <laughs> On the movie, any for anything you give me, I'm a roll. Whether it be <laughs> cheap, yo, Dance, whatever. Kid, uh, a bad bitch, <laughs> or a brand new vehicle, whatever, man. I'm a roll model, yeah. Speak in. Uh, the transcript is is uh, is clear. I filed, I think, two or three weeks ago, with respect to for this appeal. They want to put me in jail for something I did a long time ago, and I can't really blame them because I was a, a, you know, kind of a bad person before. But now I'm trying to do something with my life, and they won't let me. I can't do nothing in jail. They keep trying to shove me in jail. They talking about how overcrowded it is, but yet they still trying to shove me in there. Thank you.